NBA's best, Vic Pavetta, the lead official, working with Bob Delaney and Steve Jeffy to win a best of seven. The Sox did it in the first round against the Lakers. San Antonio trying to become the ninth team to pull it off. Dallas controlling the opening tip. Nowitzki played by Duncan. Nowitzki with the step. That's exactly what Avery Johnson wanted to see more. Penetrating, attacking the rim. Something that Dallas has gotten away from the last two games. They want to earn their way back to the free throw line with aggressive plays like that one from Nowitzki. And Ginobili is stopped by Howard. Nice save. And back comes Terry. Terry puts a move on Bowen. Rick Popovich coming up to earlier. His main concern is that Dallas will come out extremely aggressive as Howard gives the Babs a 4-0 lead. And that's one of the benefits of pushing the ball hard. San Antonio in transition. They end up with a mismatch. Parker has to pick up Howard, and Howard takes advantage of the size down low. You see the immediate double by the Mavericks on Duncan. Here's Bowen. and attempted only one shot, gets one off early, and converts. Well, it wasn't because he was passing any up, Marv. He simply was not open. And Dallas off to the quick start here. Howard with the three. Mavericks with a 7-2 lead. We played a minute and a half. Parker able to go behind the back. Parker's first shot is off. Howard with the rebound. Played on the switch by Finley, goes right at him. An early timeout, open up by hitting their first four shots. Well, this was the game plan coming in. Avery Johnson wanted to get back to the penetrating style that they had. This was the opening play here with Dirk drawing the pump fake and drawing the, the jump. Seven is finally here. And what you have to do as a player, don't read the papers. Don't watch TV. Find some outlet. Read a book, see a movie, because the, the pressure comes from the media and the fans is almost overwhelming. And here is Parker giving it up to Finley. Duncan able to twist his way in and the foul is called. See from the broadcast point of view, when I think about game sevens, my recommendation is eat a hearty breakfast. <laughs> is that what you did this morning? I did. See, I just had granola and fruit and I, I don't feel ready. I saw several donuts involved. <laughs> Foul on Dampier and Tim Duncan at the line. San Antonio Spurs have been hitting their free throws recently. In fact, they were able to convert their last 15 in the second half in game six. Well, 80% as a team. Remember, this was a, a club that finished 29th in the NBA in the regular season. Duncan hit 8 out of 10 in game six. So, the focus, the rhythm, whatever it is, but the Spurs knocking down in this series. Dallas off to the 9-3 lead. Nowitzki, yes. It's the second time Dallas has run that play, Marv. They're rubbing Nowitzki off of the screen. That frees up uh, Nowitzki to end up with Tim Duncan on him rather than Bruce Bowen. They're really making a point of screening Bruce Bowen. Dallas has hit its first five shots. Finley fires from down. Yeah. Dallas up by seven. Terry for three. Phenomenal shooting by the Mavericks. They hit their first seven shots, and they now are 13 of 15 from the field. Well, we've talked about one of Doug Collins' favorite quotes is you know first quarter game the nba playoffs are about the first quarter who sets the tempo obviously it's dallas here tonight they are playing exactly the way they want to coming up on two minutes left in the first quarter now bowen defending on davinsky and the foul is called on bowen that's his second is a non-shooting foul. First team foul the last two minutes for the Spurs. Now Dirk is a guy who you absolutely want on the floor in the clutch. Here are those numbers I was talking about.
And I, I love what he talked about in that in that clip of him, Marvin. The approach has to be, let's go out, let's embrace the pressure, let's have fun. And Stackhouse put a lot of control, or he draws the foul. But I, I think that's what you have to do as a player. If you start thinking about the repercussions of losing, you're going to tighten up, and, and there's no way you can perform. You, you have to put everything out of your mind, let it all hang out, just go play. And that's what Dirk has done. That's why he's had so much success. And as Avery Johnson has uh, said, it's the new and improved. Dirk Nowitzki can still go out and have a great game without uh, putting up a medley of, of threes. He has not been looking for the three-point shot. The steal by Armstrong. Terry. Dallas, 35. San Antonio, 23. The Mavs, 14 of 16 from the field. Speed, athleticism, grace, it's all there for the Mavericks. Just too much quickness right now for the Spurs to handle. Parker with a, another beautiful move that set it up for Ori. Tony Parker continues to go to the crossover and continues to succeed. 35-25, Dallas. Final minute of the first. It only now uh, on Nowitzki. Nowitzki to the fadeaway. They have hit 15 of 17 shots here in the first quarter. Well, you think, you think they've gotten over the nerve of playing a game seven in San Antonio? What an incredible offensive display. Armstrong went down, and Harvey got the score with the finger roll. Now, uh, Parker embracing the challenge brought forth by Armstrong who loves to tighten up on players, but he's not used to going against guys with the speed and quickness of Parker. Still, you have to love the way Armstrong is really making Parker work out there. A 12-point first quarter for Tony Parker. Here's Stackhouse on a catch and shoot for three. Ginobili with a nice save. Spurs will hold for a final shot of this first quarter. Parker, nice turnaround, rebound Ori at the horn. House was hoping this is not the season yes. finale for Tony Parker and his San Antonio Spurs. Fresh off, does that mean they filmed it yesterday and she, she flew in late? Oh, that's what she mentioned. Yeah. Not much rest for either. No, they, they, they back-to-backs are tough. It's a one-day shoot, too. <laughs> Very efficient. Second quarter. On the way, nice pass by Duncan. So the Mavericks now lead 37 29. Dallas 15 of 18 from the field in that first quarter. And how about San Antonio? They're shooting 64%. They've gotten to the line 14 times, and yet they're trailing by eight here. So just a brilliant offensive display by the Mavericks. But the Spurs only down eight. We've got to get the ball into Duncan and get Ginobili going. That first bucket for him was a big one. Van Exel coming on here at the start of the second quarter. Is Michael Finley moving left for the shot. And it carried out of bounds. Well, we've seen a couple of adjustments here tonight from Avery Johnson, Marvin. Went with Daryl Armstrong and Keith Van Horn. He took Sagana Jop out of the starting lineup. And here's another one. He double teams Tim Duncan right away on catch for the most part dallas has played duncan straight up and it kind of mixed in some double team coverages but they are attacking him right on that first pass at least right now to start this second quarter at the moment Dirk davinsky sitting down jason terry so terry back from that the one game suspension and he has come out and hit four of four for the field he has nine points Going right, Terry can make that shot all night long. They love that little step-up screen for him. Here's Ori for three. Great shot is handled by Dampier. Boy, Ori just has not been able to get it going in this series, Marv. He's just three of 15 shooter, three of 14 coming in. He had that little lay-in earlier, but this has not been a Robert Ori type series. Bob Delaney, the outside official, calls it against the Mavericks. It's an offensive foul. Don Harris, Avery Johnson, not like the call. Avery Johnson the other day asked about fear going to play a game seven here in San Antonio. He said, fear? You're 
to somebody who got cut on Christmas Eve coming home to his family after losing his job. Uh, and then he followed that up with an even more pertinent, in, an, pertinent analogy. He said, fear is three of my family members living on their roof for a couple days after Hurricane Katrina uh, down in New Orleans. So he has the right perspective. Nice move by Ginobili and reflected out. Last touch by Duncan. What Avery had to say, did I, did I say anything about fear? <laughs> Talking to somebody who got cut, as I said, on, on Christmas Eve. Well, Avery Johnson has been through it all in the NBA. There's the steal by Ginobili, but Johnson has played for so many different teams. He's been cut, he's bounced around, but he's figured it all out. And Axel can't get the runner to go. But his team has taken on his persona. Very tough-minded. Terry will reset for early in the second. Mavericks have been on nice. fire. Here's Terry looking to draw the foul. He does. Duncan picks up his first. Nice move by Terry as he saw Duncan come over on a switch. Now once again, the step-up screen, that means the Dallas big man, Dampier, in this case, comes out onto the perimeter. And going right, that's the way Terry wants to go. He can knock down that shot. That's why Duncan played up on him. Terry did the, the right thing. Leans in, draws a contact. Jason Terry had an excellent regular season. Average 17 points, 4 assists. Shot just under 50% for the field. Meanwhile, Terry's offense has really bought a few minutes of rest here for Dirk Nowitzki, who played the entire first quarter. Well, they led by 10 at the end of the quarter. They've won this quarter by two with Nowitzki on the bench. Here's Barry for three. The box out by Howard. Mavericks up by 12. Harris, beautiful ball, Devin Harris. And Avery Johnson saying that's what he wants to see. It was not what they got from Harris in game six. And Greg Popovich saying that's exactly what I don't want to see. Sprout try to get the Spurs back into it. Once again, here's the double on Duncan. Shot clock to four. Barry rejected that account. It's a goaltend. Let's go over to Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? Well, Marvin Steve, before the game, I spoke to David Robinson, and I asked him, is there anything that surprises him about this series? He said, yes, yeah, Cheryl, that it lasted this long. I thought we would get the job done in six, but give Dallas a lot of credit, especially the young guys, Devin Harris, Josh Howard, and Jason Terry. They've been very consistent. We just haven't been able to dominate these guys, and Avery Johnson's losing one. All right, thanks, Cheryl. Stackhouse able to knock it down. Apparently, that last call was not a goal, Ted. It was an offensive foul. Well, you want to talk about giving somebody credit. I mean, Avery Johnson has made some brilliant adjustments here tonight. He knows Bruce Bowen hasn't taken more than two shots in the last two games. So they're doubling Duncan. Now they forget to this time, but it doesn't matter. Dan Pierre gets the block. And here comes Harris. Goes to the pull-up. Barry got a piece of it. Maverick got a foul call. Spurs have missed their last six shots. Van Exel with the runner. Make it seven straight misses for the Spurs. Friendly looking for the steal that deflects it out of bounds. It's been all Mavericks in this first half. They now lead by 16. And Dirk Nowitzki still on the bench. Dallas plus six in this second quarter. Dirk Nowitzki resting. He's going to come back in now. But how about that boost from the reserve core of the Mavericks and the depth of Dallas really showing here. Avery Johnson going with Keith Van Horn and Daryl Armstrong for big minutes. Now he's got Stackhouse out there. Dampier started his, his first game of the series tonight. So a very, very deep team. They're taking it to San Antonio tonight. Spurs scored us the last four minutes. Levinsky. That's a rare miss by the man. Well, he's been sitting for a while. He might want to loosen up a little bit before he hoists that jumper up. Barry lost his foot. He felt he was pushed. So the ball back to Dallas. Like Marv, I talked about the double team of Duncan. I think what it's done is it's given San Antonio a different look. They're 
getting very comfortable the last few games against this Maverick defense, but the different look has resulted in some indecision. Six turnovers now for the Spurs. Dampier with the easy two. Mavericks 47, Spurs 29. This is Shades game two of this series. Spurs worst defeat of the season. As they were blown out by Dallas. So San Antonio finally scores. They went four and a half minutes without a point. And Bowen now with a couple of hoops. We talked about it. Just two field goal attempts the last two games. But Dallas, they're going to force him to make some shots here tonight. Nowitzki with a shot clock rolling down. Bowen with the rebound. And a loose ball foul. It's on that pier. The second on Eric Dampier. Devin Harris will return for Dallas Marv. He had the, the difficult game six. Possibly feeling a little bit of the pressure that comes with playing in such a long series against a, a great team like San Antonio. It's another reason why I love Johnson's move tonight of putting Daryl Armstrong in the ball game. Take some of that heat off of Harris. Get him on the bench. Let him watch the game a little bit. Regain some of that energy. Now bring him back in the mid-second quarter. Single coverage on Duncan. Here's the double. Barry around Nowitzki. Getting it to Duncan. And the foul. Nice ball movement by San Antonio following the, the double on, on Duncan. Nowitzki called for that foul. That's his second. Second team foul on Dallas. Reminder, national television coverage of the NBA playoffs continues later tonight. Right here on TNT. Game 7 between the Clippers and the Suns. Seventh and deciding game of the Western Conference semifinal series. And tomorrow on ESPN, it's a game one of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Heat and the Pistons. So they'll open things up. Coverage starting 7 o'clock Eastern time. And next Monday on ABC, it'll be game four of the, the Pistons and the Heat. Coverage starting at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Mavericks now lead at 47, 33, just under six to go in the first half. Marv Albert, Steve Kerr, and Cheryl Miller were in the River City. Seventh and final game. And the winner will advance to play the winner between the Clippers and the Suns. A fourth shot by Howard, but everything is dropping for Josh Howard. Now six of eight, he has 13 points. And 20 for 26 for the Mavericks at 77% shooting. San Antonio just has no answer right now. Here's Bowen for three. Chicago shot for the wide open. First ball. Normally, it's not his spot, Marv. He likes that corner three. Doesn't make a lot from that wing, but Bowen trying to keep his team in it with his long-range shooting. Harris picks it out. Sets up Perry for three. What a half for Javery Johnson and his team once again in a game seven, and they have jumped in front by 16 points. Well, what happened to Houston that night is what every coach on the road in a game seven worries about. The frenzy, the emotion, the home crowd. Well, Dallas took this San Antonio fan uh, crowd completely out of the matchup right away with their hot shooting. Parker with the miss, so the Dallas has set the tempo early. They've continued it. And the game is being played at their pace right now. Maps came out aggressively both ends. They've done a terrific job doubling up on, on Tim Duncan. They hit their first seven shots, 15 of 17. And they're up 52 to 36. Shot clock is down to two. Here's Terry for three. Fire. Jason Terry. Six of six from the field. He has 17 points. And that play was not there for Dallas in game six because Terry was not on the floor. The Spurs double teamed Nowitzki at that same spot. But the Mavericks didn't have the shooters to be able to deal with it. And Tim Duncan gets inside. Dallas up by 17. Duncan with just five shot attempts more here in the first quarter because of that constant Maverick double team. Offensive foul, Sister Corbett. 
Kevin Harris called for the charge as Manu Ginobili took the hit. Well, Manu Ginobili has not really gotten himself into this ball game yet. Just one of two shooting two points. But these are the types of plays that usually get him moving. He's a guy who feasts off of taking charges, offensive uh, fouls, and Duncan can't get it to go. But there's have to have Ginobili playing with big energy here tonight if they're going to come back and win. Terry now being played by Ginobili. You see Bowen switching off. Ginobili now defending on Nowitzki. Here's Nowitzki. Shetty kicks Spurs. It counts in the foul. Sensational move by Nowitzki. And yes, there are Maverick fans in the building. Well, once again, Marv, Dallas runs a nice play that ends up with a switch. Duncan on Nowitzki is just not quick enough to deal with the speed of Nowitzki, the ball handling, the baseline drive. Dirk pumped up here tonight as his, his entire team. What a display by these Mavericks. Kyle on Duncan, his second three-point play for Nowitzki. He now has 13 points. 13 apiece for Nowitzki and Howard, 17 for Terry. Mavericks with a 20-point advantage with three minutes to go in the first half. A holding foul. It is on Dallas. Not on Stackhouse. That is his second 15 foul on the Mavs. Well, this is certainly been a one-sided first half but it's it's been a remarkable series five of the six games the outcome decided and in the final seconds here duncan that counts and a foul in fact Steve, this season's playoffs 14 games have been decided by one or two points already equaling a record set in 1995 and this is number eight for robert ori eight game sevens most by any Active player. And unless his team gets something going, he's going to be 6 and 2 because the Spurs have absolutely been demolished here to this point. But a lot of action to be played. San Antonio has to clap down and play some D though. Mavericks by 17. Howard with the spin. Get up. Rebound to Jock. Sagara Jock who did not start tonight. Is Eric Camp here as the starter. Jock played only six minutes in, in game six. Got it to foul trouble. And as you mentioned, Steve, Keith Van Horn seeing more action the other night. Here's Finley open for three. Yes. I think San Antonio fans have to be thinking, well, the Mavericks can't continue to shoot like this. We're looking at 77%. 24 out of 31 foul is called on Ginobili and right here we'll check in with Ernie Johnson back in our Atlanta studios Ernie Just under two to go in this first half. Stackhouse got the step. Rebounded by Jump, another offensive board for the Mavericks. And Jump was able to take a timeout. You see Avery Johnson screaming, timeout, take the timeout. It's a 20-second timeout taken by the Mavericks. Those are amazing numbers. 24 of 32 from the floor, five of seven from the three-point line, and seven of seven from the foul line. Well, once again, Marv, I think you have to point to the small lineup that the Spurs are playing. They've had so many matchup problems in this series. We've sort of forgotten about them the last two games because San Antonio has pulled out victories. But once again, the speed, we see Terry right by Finley, the offensive board, a save by Finley. He slowed down, trying to draw the foul, but the best did not go for it. That's the old Walt Clyde Frazier play. Got to pull it up and look for the defender to commit the foul as you score. That has this crowd going. Spurs now down by, by 14. And Nowitzki being pressured aside by Dick 
with Venice. Uh, Tony Parker made the contact. And Nowitzki to the line. Well, here's the, what we've talked about. The problem with the penetration. But Duncan comes over to help the block. And then a beautiful save leads to the layup at the other end. Take a look at the save from Finley. Nice cross-court feed. And there's that Clyde Frazier play you talked about. Parker slowing up, getting the angle, and finishing the play. Fourteen points for Davitsky, and he is four of four at the foul line. What a superb series for Dirk Davitsky, although at times he has hobbled on a, a sprained right ankle. How about game four? 27 points and only nine shots, 24 trips to the foul line. Finley to the fade, yes. San Antonio showing some signs here at the end of the half for final minute first half. Now this is a big minute here, Marvin. If the Spurs can make a couple of stops, maybe a score or two, then the deficit is manageable. The double team now on Nowitzki. Top clock for six. Whoa! <laughs> Everyone getting into the action. Got a chop with a baseline jumper. Well, when it's your night, it's your night. Here's Parker. Beautiful runner. Mavericks, 14, but for the first time, all night, San Antonio able to show some consistent offensive play. Crowd finally in it, Marvin. Dallas will go back to Nowitzki at the top of the circle with the ISO. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Nowitzki forced to give it up to Stackhouse. Parker. Running down, Ginobili puts the move on, Terry takes all the way. Got to draw the foul, no call made. Rick Popovich very upset. That's the end of the first half. Spurs close the half, hitting five of their last six from the floor. Here's the double on Duncan. Parker spinning, went off balance. So they've hit six of the last seven, and now trail by 12. Well, right away we see that, that double team of Duncan on the pass. They're not messing around, and one thing that accomplishes, Marv, is that it activates the Dallas defense, gets them playing at the tempo they want. Offensive foul, Kevin Harris putting Michael Fidley on the floor. So the ball back to the Spurs. Avery Johnson just smiling, saying, come on now, as Harris sets the screen, steps in, and that's why he got called for the foul, because he moved left into Finley, and Finley, the nice job of running into the screen and taking the blow, maybe a little acting job as well. And Pierre's done a good job against Duncan. Pushed him a little further out than he wanted. Terry and Harris in the backcourt. Here's Novitsky. Dirk Nowitzki with 17 points. Parker passing on a perimeter shot, and uh, that is a double dribble. Try to pull it back on Nowitzki, and he's called for the turnover. Let's check in with Cheryl. Greg Popovich said, this has to be the worst half we have ever played at both ends, offensively, defensively, in the regular season and post. Dell Harris says that defensively they need to tighten things up on Tim Duncan. He's still getting too deep in the paint, but they want to keep this pace fast, guys. Worst half we've played this season, says Greg Popovich. And Jason Terry continues the onslaught. Seven of eight, 19 points. Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, Marv. I think it's more that this is probably the best half Dallas has ever played in the playoffs. And San Antonio shot about 53% in the first half, so it wasn't that bad offensively. Shot clock to five. Duncan fouled by Dampier. Dampier with number four. So let's see if Avery Johnson goes back to Sagana Jop, or does he go small again as he did to start out the game when he brought Keith Van Horn in for Dampier? Duncan is 7 of 11 at the line. And the 
NBA Commissioner David Stern telling me earlier that he told Mark Cuban he had a very enjoyable swim <laughs> along the Riverwalk uh, this afternoon. He said the water was so yeah. refreshing. And then took a two-hour shower afterwards. Hey! <laughs> the San Antonio Chamber of Commerce uh, did not take Mark Cuban, the Dallas owner, to dinner last night. Cuban <laughs> lashing out the other day at the uh, Riverwalk here in San Antonio, referring to the muddy waters. Also called San Antonio fans the rudest in the NBA. I'm sure the feeling is mutual. wants a clear path but they will not get that I, I think they might have wanted a, a flagrant or a, a, a technical but i think this is just a good hard foul on jason terry manu ginobili tries to go left around him and he steps in maybe four a little high but i don't think he can do anything but just call a foul on that one duncan finley and bowen up front parker and ginobili in the backcourt they're resetting the, the shot clock Two minutes gone by in the third. Ginobili able to split through and draws the foul. It's incredible how he can find the room to work his way through two defenders. The foul is called on Josh Howard. That is third. He takes angles that, that other players just don't see, Marv. He squeezes his way through double teams and, and just finds a way to the rim. And you saw him attack Keith Van Horn. Van Horn coming in now to replace Dampier, and he'll be guarding Duncan. So a gamble from Avery Johnson to go back to Van Horn, knowing that he has not been able to cover Tim Duncan in this series. But a quiet night to this point for Mono Ginobili. And the Spurs getting aggressive at the defensive end. That time Parker looking for the steal is called out of reaching. This second foul. Now the crowd doesn't like it. A little reach in and didn't look like much there. I think Devin Harris caught a break. Harris met on a switch by Bowen. Ginobili now on Nowitzki. Howard facing a double. So Terry has an open three. Nowitzki with the rebound. It's punched out of his hand and last touched by the Spurs. Well, San Antonio finally makes a stop, but there's Nowitzki on the offensive board, and the reason he's there is because of the rotation out of the double team from San Antonio. That leaves open rebounding lanes. And Horn, Nowitzki, and Howard up front. Terry and Harris at the guard. Here's Terry. Bowen rebound. Ginobili on the run, pulled it up, Duncan, scores! Duncan from Ginobili. Three minutes gone by in this third quarter, seventh and final game of this Western Conference semifinal series. Winner advances to the West Finals, facing the winner between the Suns and the Clippers. That is coming up next here on TNT. In game one of the conference final will take place Wednesday night here in San Antonio or in Dallas, depending on tonight's outcome, and you'll see it on TNT. Shot clock, down to seven. Novitski with a nice flip shot. Beautiful designed play from Avery Johnson out of the timeout. Now, the little post-up for Novitski, knowing he's got the size advantage over Finley. you got to go to your best player to try to stem that tie. That's what Dallas does. Dunk it out to set the screen. Duncan met by the double. Duncan squeezing his way. Yes, and the foul. He does it off the double team. Duncan will head back to the line. Fouled by Harris, so that's four on Devin Harris. Well, Harris absolutely gets him across the arm, but Avery Johnson and the bench of Dallas wanted a double dribble on Duncan before the foul. Duncan gets away with it, leans in, that double team comes back, but he does what big men are taught to do, try to squeeze through that double and draw the foul. And Steve, that for the Mavs, their fourth team foul with 8.20 left in the third quarter. Duncan not able to complete the 
three-point play. Gary Stackhouse coming on for Devin Harris. Howard. Try to bank it. Rebound Duncan. That's his first rebound of the night. Incredible. Ginobili traveling. Violation. Good play by Van Horn. Went for the tie-up. And Ginobili called for steps. Well, Marv, you talked about the free throw situation. 17 of 22 for San Antonio, just 9 for 9 for Dallas. So free throws have been a huge factor in this series. Normally, the team that has had more attempts has won the game. That not the case here tonight so far because of Dallas's hot shooting. And Horn for three, way off. Stockhouse hits the deck. He was pushed. That's three on Parker. Second team foul for the Spurs. It is a non-shooting foul. Stackhouse with a cross court to Van Horn. Passed out of three, takes to the rim. Rebound Duncan. Point game. Dallas up. They've led by as many as 20. And they have cooled off here at the start of the third. Duncan battling. And he is blocked. Out on Van Horn. So four on Keith Van Horn. Well, Dallas starting to mix up its coverages on Duncan Marv. They didn't come immediately. That time on the double team. And Duncan took his time, drew the foul. Dallas over the limit. Tim Duncan, 9 of 14 at the line. Take a look at Van Horn and the difficulty he undergoes. You see that little slap from Duncan? That's something that Del Harris was complaining about earlier in the series. That's supposed to be an offensive foul. Duncan has gotten away with it throughout this series. And for Van Horn, he's just too big and strong down there. You see Del Harris. And now Daryl Armstrong comes back into the game. So Avery Johnson not afraid to use his bench, and they have come through in a big way here tonight. This is the closest San Antonio has been back in the first quarter. Dallas's lead down to eight. Five minutes gone by in the third. They're standing here in San Antonio. Howard. Stackhouse with five on the 24, played tightly by Bowen. Stackhouse, oh, what a shot. Bruce Bowen was all over him. Wow, what a huge shot for Stackhouse. This crowd was ready to erupt if their team could have made a stop and gotten a score at the other end. Well, Phil Jackson called Bruce Bowen Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> and that was an example of it. It was all over Jerry Stackhouse. Nowitzki, crowd water traveling violation. But a good move by Nowitzki, who is now 8 of 11, 21 points in all. And I think Dallas has to get back to doing what they did in the first half, Mark. Continue to attack, run, put that pressure on the San Antonio defense. Ginobili, and he's fouled. Maybe three-point territory. He was run into by Howard. It will be three shots from Otto Ginobili. And Josh Howard has collected his fourth. Now this is a big foul for Avery Johnson and his club to deal with because Howard is the most versatile defender. Look at the little Reggie Miller kick by Ginobili. And that draws the foul. That is a crafty veteran play there. And if you're a, a Dallas fan, you've got every reason to complain on that. Four Mavericks have four fouls. Well, with the NBA playoffs, it does not get any more compelling than Game 7s. And with TNT Overtime at NBA.com, doesn't get any more compelling than, than Steve Kerr. Check out Steve's preview of Game 7 of the Clippers and Suns. And I'm told Steve's new dog, Oscar, makes an appearance as well. Is that accurate? It's a cameo. Or a bit part. That Strasburg training really paying off for, for Oscar. Log on to NBA.com or... 
AOL.com slash NBA and click on TNT Overtime. Josh Howard sitting down with 13 points with most of his scoring early. San Antonio in this third quarter. 9 of 10 at the line. Mavericks have not been to the line. Dallas has been over the limit most of this third quarter. They're within nine. Less than six to play in the third. Nikitsky with room. Rebounded by Fidler. Ginobili whipping by Curry. Ginobili. Dallas takes a timeout. The ninth team to do it. Dallas trying to reach the NBA Western Conference Final. The winner here tonight will face the winner of the second of our TNT doubleheader between the Suns and the Clippers. Dallas has led by as many as 20. It's now a seven-point advantage. Shot clock down to four. Armstrong lost the handle. Dallas. Great job defensively by San Antonio. It's a play Dallas has run repeatedly tonight, bringing Nowitzki off a couple of screens. But that time the Spurs don't get picked off. Ginobili stays with him, denies the pass, and Armstrong left by himself to create a play. Mavericks only 5 of 13 from the field in the third quarter. After shooting just under 70%, in the first half. Nick Van Exel is back working against Darrell Armstrong. The rest for Tony Parker. Van Exel and Ginobili now in the backcourt. Five minutes left in the third. Here's the double. It's worked to the open man, Bowen. Rebounded by Davitsky. Bowen claiming that he was hacked. Terry with a crossover blocked by Duncan. That's three blocks for Duncan. Bowen changed his mind. There's the double single coverage momentarily on Duncan. Van Exel. Duncan. Yes! And the foul! It's down to a five-point Dallas lead. This game comes down to a bounce here or there. I thought Eric Dampier made a terrific play on the penetration from Nick Van Exel. Not really going for the block. He reads it correctly. Just can't quite get his hands on the ball. And as a result, Duncan finishes the play and draws the foul. Foul on Armstrong. Tim Duncan with 25 points. 10 of the 25 here on the third. And Duncan hearing the chant of... MVP, perhaps MVP of this series. <laughs> yeah. Three-point play for Duncan. The Dallas lead has evaporated. Down to four after leading by 20. Tony Parker is back. Nice lead. Stackhouse blows it. Beautiful pass from Novitsky and how things have turned in this third quarter. Single coverage on Duncan. Here comes Stackhouse hedging his way. Barry rebounded by Van Horn. That's what Barry has to do, though. Be ready to shoot. If they're going to double-team Duncan, be ready to knock down that three. find any room and takes the shot. Mason Terry from deep in the corner. He has 21. Mavericks by six. What a big shot. Looked like the Spurs had him trapped in the corner, but all he needs is a little bit of room to make that one dribble right and pull up. Timeout. Pulled by the Spurs. Before that jumper a moment ago by Jason Terry from the right hand corner. San Antonio had outscored Dallas 18 to 6 to charge back into it. With Parker and Barry in the backcourt now with Duncan, Bowen, and Ori. 
on the front line. Duncan feeling for the defender. Parker, yes. The Dallas lead down to four. 20 points for Tony Parker. Three minutes to play in the third. Terry, rebounded by Ori. There's the double on Duncan. Parker got the step. Parker, Ori with the back tap. Ori. Duncan, played by Dampier. Duncan goes at him. Handled by Dampier. San Antonio just going to play right through their big man. Hope that Dallas comes with a double and react to that. Let's be forced to give it up at home. his second three. He hit two from beyond the three-point line in game six. Average 79. The Spurs 72. It's the first time we've seen this lineup, Marv. Dallas going pretty big with Nowitzki, Van Horn, and Dampier. There's Duncan over to Nowitzki. 28 for Duncan. 13 have come here in the third. Minute and a half to go, third quarter. Bowen, defending on Nowitzki. So Dirk Nowitzki with a good five, six inches on Bruce Bowen. And, and there's nothing you can do because he fades away. He's seven feet tall and he shoots from behind his head. So no way anybody can actually challenge that shot. There's Parker able to swing inside. And it's tipped by Ori and missed. Rebounded by Nowitzki with a minute left. In this third quarter, Dallas up by seven. Van Horn from the sixth spot. A three for Van Horn. How about Keith Van Horn, who's come back from surgery on his right hand. He was out six weeks, made his return three games ago, and hits his third three of the night. Oh, going to glass. I don't know if that was his intention. I'm not sure, but how about this Dallas team, Marv? I don't know what's happened here. A little uh, clock problem that Dick Bavetta is straightening out, but you know, to win a game seven on the road, you have to have multiple heroes. You can't rely on one or two guys, and look at what the Mavericks have done tonight between Nowitzki and Howard, Terry, now Van Horn coming off the bench. So many players making big plays. This is how you have to do it. Van Horn using the screen, coming up short. That was a screen at close quarters. Parker, saved by Duncan. Parker, and up short on a finger roll, gets it back. And we saw the quickness of, of Tony Parker on that follow. And Duncan may have gone over the back of the Dallas defender, Avery Johnson, just furious in front of his bench. Final seconds of the third. Nowitzki for three. And time runs out. And so San Antonio playing inside out with Duncan. In fact, Tim Duncan has 17 free throw attempts by himself, eight more than the entire Mavericks team. Dallas opened up the game by hitting the first seven shots they hit 17 of their first 20 69 percent of the half there's Devin Harris coming up short handled by Bowen Mavericks have led by 20 they have the big lead most of the first half it is now a six-point game Dampier picks up the foul that's number five Dallas with foul triple five on Dampier four piece Harris and Van Horn. Well, if if the Spurs come back and win this game, or the Dallas fans and their coaches, their players, they are not going to be thrilled 
with the personal foul differential. That's 25 fouls called on Dallas to just 11 for San Antonio. Now, it's not like it should be even every game, but that's a pretty wide disparity. Tim Duncan now 13 of 18 at the line. It's a San Antonio team that won 63 games, 63 and 19 in the regular season. Best record in the history of the franchise. Best record in the Western Conference. Followed by the Dallas Mavericks, who went 60 and 22. They equaled the best record in the history of their franchise. Dallas by four. Open and minute, fourth quarter. Marv Albert, Steve Kerr, and Cheryl Miller. From San Antonio, Stackhouse, rebounded by Duncan. Fourth quarter execution, Marv, it's been so key in this series. Question for Dallas, can they come up big as they did in their victories, or are they going to continue to struggle as they have the last couple nights? Duncan, scores on that hole. Greg Popovich went down the sideline, screaming at his players when he saw the matchup. Van Horn is playing with four fouls, defending on Duncan, screaming, get the ball, down low to Duncan. And if you're going to play this lineup and you're Dallas, you better get somebody to knock down an outside shot like Nowitzki or Van Horn. Nowitzki draws the foul. They'll finally go to the line. But Marva, Dallas has decided to go small. They've kept Jop and Dampier out of the lineup. So that means you've got perimeter shooters all over the place. You better take advantage of Duncan at the other end. But this is what we were talking about. Last two games, fourth quarter, Dallas just 19 points per game, almost five turnovers, four free throw attempts. So this is a welcome sign for the Mavericks. Nowitzki finding his way to the strike. Dirk Nowitzki, one of the premier foul shooters in the league at 90% during the regular season. Received him six of six. At the line, 24 points. At all. And they have settled a lot in the second half. I think you know they were so hot in the first half, Mark, that almost like they fell in love with that jump shot and they stopped attacking the rim. That's why those were the, the first two free throws of the entire half for Dallas. They've got to get back to attacking the paint. Here comes Howard helping. Bowen, the open man, for three. Rebounded by Duncan. Ginobili, 4-3. And that's waved off. Foul was called on Duncan. Right before that release to Ginobili, number three on Duncan. Looked like he pushed off with that off arm on the rebound. That's why he got the call. Mavericks, after shooting 69% of the first half, just 11 for 31 here in the second half. Stackhouse, that will count, and the foul. Jerry Stackhouse with a terrific move, and he will go to the line. Foul on Kenobi. Boy, how hard is it to win a game seven on the road against a great team? Dallas doing everything it can to try to pull out this victory. So many guys, as I mentioned before, are coming up with big plays. But just incredible what we've seen here tonight in terms of the Dallas resilience and after losing that 20-point lead every time it looks like the Spurs are on the verge of taking over somebody hits a big shot 89-82 Mavericks Ginobili from downtown rebounded by Van Horn Terry to Howard posting the call for the offensive foul to Howard number five uh, and if you're wondering why he got the charge call, Ginobili, despite the fact that he was underneath that circle, it's because he was not a help defender. When you're the one-on-one -on -one defender, even if your feet are in that circle, so he's the primary defender there, so that it doesn't matter where his feet are in that circle, and that's a, a tough call for Dallas, number five on Howard. Stackhouse deflecting it. But it would open with the feed intended for Duncan, able to recover. Bowen, three. Just did beat the 24. Here comes Terry. Stackhouse put the brakes on. 
Nowitzki against the backpedaling Bowen. Nowitzki with the rebound and draws the foul. How about the maturity of Dirk Nowitzki, Marv? Because in the past, I think he comes up firing on that play from three. And knowing the situation, knowing that Dallas needs to continue to get to the free throw line, he pump fakes, he uses the line as a threat, gets to the rim, gets the offensive board, draws the foul. Look at his numbers once again, coming through in the clutch in a game seven. We saw earlier in the telecast his game seven numbers, 3-0 and in his career, 25 points, 14 boards. I mean, this guy is one of the great clutch players that we have in the NBA. He's seven for seven at the free throw line looking for points 26 and, and 27 a wet spot on the floor taken care of by the one of the Spurs ball boys national television coverage of the NBA playoffs continues later on tonight right here on TNT Kevin Hall and Doug Collins standing by the game seven between the Clippers and the Suns and tomorrow on ESPN game one of the Eastern Conference finals between the Heat and the Pistons, Detroit able to wrap things up against Cleveland on Sunday. Coverage starting 7 o'clock Eastern Time next Monday on ABC Game 4. Of the Pistons and Heat starting 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Nine points, Dallas lead. Just under nine remaining of the fourth. Duncan fouled by Van Horn. That's number five on Van Horn, a blocking foul call. So Duncan heads back. For the free throw strike. Mark Cuban just furious here. But Duncan with the nice pump fake that gets Van Horn just a little bit out of position. Cuban doesn't agree apparently. But now if you're Avery Johnson, you, you just keep Van Horn out there. And he's got five, but this lineup has been pretty good. And more than likely, you know, you're, you're not counting on Van Horn for big minutes. So take a look. This is why. Cuban is not happy. Doesn't look like much, but he just leans in. <laughs> that, that is not a foul, I think. And I don't want to say what he just said the second time. <laughs> so five on Van Horn, Howard, and Dampier. Keep Van Horn has played 12 minutes tonight. Three from downtown. He has nine points. How about Duncan? 16 of 21 from the free throw line. 34 points. His domination at the offensive end continues in this series. Duncan also the only spur to score thus far in this fourth quarter. Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki having another outstanding game. 29 points. 10 of 16 from the field of the Mavericks. Lead it by nine. Here's Jenna. For three, yes. The Dallas lead is down to six. They're not going to go away, Marvin. If you're Dallas, that means keep feeding Dirk. There was a lot of uh, argument about whether Dirk faded in the fourth quarter the other night. Didn't look to shoot. Been very aggressive here tonight. Tony Parker now defending on Nowitzki with help. Shot clock down to two. Stackhouse for three. Did not make contact with the rim. But a foul was called on Parker. It is a, a loose ball foul on Tony Parker. It puts San Antonio in the penalty. Right here we'll check in with Ernie Johnson back in our Atlanta studio. Ernie, there was a a question as to who would be the shooter at the line off that foul called on on Parker and the officials confirm and they say it is Dirk Nowitzki 
Mavericks don't mind that at all as he makes it 10 out of 10 at the line. The 90 percenter at the line in the clutch. We've seen him hit big free throw after big free throw in this series. So he's the right guy. And give him credit. He was right there on the offensive glass. Another example of his maturity as a player. A guy who was so perimeter oriented earlier in his career. But he's become what Avery Johnson wanted him to become. A seven footer who plays both inside and out. Always a stutter when the victory misses a free throw. Ginobili to the scoop. Dallas 94, San Antonio 89. Here's Terry for three. Way about it by Duncan. Parker. Got the step on Terry. Oh, what a play by Terry. Then Ginobili with the save. And he was out of bounds. Oh, what effort from Terry and then Ginobili. And fortunately for the Mavericks, the ball goes out of bounds off Ginobili. But it looked like Tony Parker had a wide open layup, Marv. He turned on the Jets. And then Terry gets him from behind. May have been a foul. You see Parker furious. Ginobili dives in. Crowd now looking at the replay. You hear their reaction. Tony very upset, but Terry, give him credit for the hustle. Howard lost it. Bowen with the steal. Parker has Ginobili on the wing. Ginobili putting the move on Harris. Ginobili bringing San Antonio within three. The heart of the champion, Marv. The will, the determination. What an incredible effort to get back into this game. Ginobili has the last seven points for the Spurs. Stackhouse rebounded by Duncan. Coming up on six minutes to play in the fourth. Dallas up by three. Here's the double. Ginobili passed out of three. Bowen for three. And Howard able to gather it in. Well, this crowd was ready to erupt. Novitski, Howard open for three. And a foul is called. Novitski took a shot on the nose. So... He will be back at the line with San Antonio over the foul limit. Foul on Finley. That is number three on Finley. And look at the numbers. I mean, Dallas just could not keep up that pace, obviously. Almost 70% in the first half. So San Antonio done a much better job defensively. 36% shooting for Dallas in the second half. Big thing now for the Mavericks. Can Dirk Nowitzki continue to get to the line? Because winning games on the road in the playoffs, you have to do it from the free throw line. You have to some easy points here and there, particularly going against the San Antonio defense. Dirk now 11 of 12 at the foul out is 31 points. Major factor though for Dallas down the stretch. Five fouls on Howard, five on Van Horn, five on Van Pier, four on Harris. Mavericks 96, Spurs 91. As we come down the stretch, five and a half remaining. Fourth quarter, seventh, and deciding game of this Western Conference semi-final series. The winner advances to the Western Conference Finals to play the winner between the Suns and the Clippers. That's coming up next here on TNT. Bowen with the shot clock rolling down. And Dallas is on. A lot of speed on the line in the, on the floor for Dallas right now. It's Nowitzki and basically four guards. So they're going to be scrambling defensively, double-teaming Duncan. They try to trap Terry. Nowitzki finds Stackhouse. Nowitzki. Just under five remaining in the fourth. Duncan lost it. And a timeout called by the Mavericks. As now this Spurs crowd urging on their team for what 
stop. Try to get a tie at the other end, possibly with a three. Mavericks now lead by three. Here's Terry. Oh. Whoa! 23 points for Jason Terry. That jumper is so effortless. The rainbow, as you've called it several times in this series. And once again, Marv, Dallas goes small. Van Horn out of the lineup, but that's the problem. We give up the rebound to Tim Duncan. The Dallas lead is three. Three and a half remaining on the fourth. Parker digging in on Terry. Terry looked like Bowen tipped it from behind, but Terry able to get to that loose ball. And they have a new 24. Now Parker defending on Stackhouse. Howard, foul called on Duncan. Spurs have been in the penalty. That's four on Duncan. Howard will shoot two. Well, the mismatch, Stackhouse being guarded by Parker. That scrambles the Spurs defense. Nice pump fake and clearly a foul on Duncan, who has spent an awful lot of time in this series complaining. In fact, there was an interesting exchange in game six, Mar, between Tim Duncan and Del Harris, the Dallas assistant coach, each uh, going at each other regarding Harris mentioned, hey, you complain too much, you're too good for that during the middle of the game. Josh Howard at the line for the first time tonight, a 73% free throw shooter during the season. And hits one of two. Dallas 99, San Antonio 95, three minutes left in the fourth. Ginobili's had a big fourth quarter. Ginobili to Parker. Rebounded by Stockout. Parker slapped it away. And it's deflected out of bounds. Mavericks were looking for a foul. As were the Spurs. Yeah, everybody wants every call at this point, And how can you blame them? Every possession is so critical. The crowd doesn't like the call. But really, I think it was a good call by Bob Delaney. Not much contact. And give the ball back to Dallas. Now they've got to go into Dirk Nowitzki. It's been played by Bowen. Shot clock down to seven. Terry for three. And a foul on Nowitzki. Over the back of Bowen. Three on Nowitzki. And team foul number four. On Dallas, San Antonio gets it back with 2.26 to go in this fourth quarter. Spurs have two full timeouts at a 20 remaining. Dallas with two full. Major possession right here. Duncan to the scoop. The Dallas lead is down to two. It's the third time tonight. San Antonio's been within two points. They've trailed by as many as 20. Just under two to go in the fourth. Howard draws the foul. So Josh Howard will go back to the line. Well, ironically, Marv, Dallas has gone to this small lineup. All the talk all series about the Spurs having to deal with Dallas. Now Dallas has to deal with the Spurs, and Nowitzki cannot guard Tim Duncan on the block. Just too big and strong. But at the other end, Nowitzki finds Howard on a cut, and Howard will go back to the line for two free throws. Foul charge to Fitley. Howard, one of two at the line. And with getting the treatment. Mavericks lead 100 to 97. And Eric Dampier makes his way back into the ballgame for Jerry Stackhouse. Avery Johnson decided there was no way he was going to watch Duncan go to work on Nowitzki again down on the post. So Dampier will be asked to slow down Tim Duncan. Plus free throws by Howard. Four point. Maverick Lee. Duncan pops it out. Finley for three. Yes. San Antonio within a point. Finley's third three-pointer. A minute. 
five, riding of the four. Terry, Terry not able to hit, rebounded by Duncan. Single coverage, now here's the double. Ten on the shot clock. Duncan. And he'll head to the line, the foul on Dan Pierre. That was really a three-point play possibility. Eric Dan Pierre has fouled out. Well, you've got a decision to make here if you're Avery Johnson. Do you bring in the young, inexperienced Sagana job? I think what we may see is an offense-defense situation from Avery. Maybe try to get his small, quick lineup on the floor offensively. And you see Stackhouse coming into the ballgame for Dampier. So that's exactly what Johnson will do. The problem is if the clock does not stop, then you can't get Jop in for defensive purposes on Duncan. Duncan 16 of 21 at the line. Duncan has 38 points, which is a season high. The game is tied. Tied for the first time tonight. As we approach one minute left in the fourth, Harris putting a speed on. Nowitzki has got a three. Nowitzki shot deflected short by Bowen. Here comes Parker on the open floor on the pull the back. San Antonio in possession. The game is tied at 101. And the mismatch with Duncan down low with Nowitzki because Dallas was not able to sub. Ginobili for three. Yes! San Antonio leads for the first time tonight. Wow, how deflating would this loss be for the Mavericks? And Otto Ginobili with much big game experience, a member of two champion San Antonio Spurs teams, a member of the Olympic gold medal team for his native Argentina. 21 points for Ginobili, 19 in the second half. Nowitzki goes right at Bowen, and the foul! So Nowitzki to the line with a chance to tie the game. Well, Spurs are going to call a timeout after this free throw. They want to orient for his size in case Nowitzki misses the free throw. Direction on that foul, it's Ginobili, number four, not Bowen. Nowitzki 12 of 13 at the line. He now has 35 points, and the game is tied at 104. Got a jump. Kept in defense on Tim Duncan as Ori inbounds. And Ginobili plays the clock down. Game tied at, at 104. Seventh and deciding game of this Western Conference semifinal series. Down to five. Down to four. Down to three. Ginobili squeezes through. Duncan on the follow. The shot blocked. And we go to overtime. Ginobili again chases down a loose ball. But Sagana Jop will start. Now, is he out there for just the tip? Or also to defend Tim Duncan? We'll see if Avery Johnson goes small when he gets a chance to substitute. Duncan. Lost up. Recovers. The tip. Rebound Jop. Jop did a good job. Sagana Jop, who goes seven foot, 280 pounds, originally a first round pick of the Cavaliers back in 2001, spent four years with Cleveland, emerged as a starter for Dallas in the second half of the season. Nice pass from Nowitzki. Howard scores, and Dallas recaptures the lead. Great find from Nowitzki, who gets double teamed. He senses that Ginobili is coming, looks for the open cutter, and that's Howard. Dallas off to the good start. Ginobili goes right back to Duncan. Parker. Yes. Tough angle. Shot over Nowitzki. Parker veering left and then pulls up to drain it. But he knew he had the speed advantage with Nowitzki, so that one or two dribble move gave him enough space to get that shot off. Game tied at 106. Drops 
set the screen. Jump from Terry. Beautifully done. Screen and roll executed by the Dallas Mavericks. What a find by Jason Terry. Squeezing that pass through the defense. Jop's been a surprise here tonight offensively. Six points in just eight minutes. Dallas with a two-point edge. Traveling. Violation called on Duncan. Backing his way on Jop. Give Jop some credit, Marv. He did the old pull the chair out move. He had pressure on Duncan's back. Released that pressure and that caused Duncan to lose his balance a little bit. Coming up on three minutes left in overtime. The ball movement, Stackhouse. Yes. So Dallas has hit his last four shots and they now lead 110-106. Ginobili went behind the back. Ginobili will go to the line. And let's see if it's if it's Josh Howard. It's number six. It is Howard. So he is the third member to foul out. Howard Ginobili to the line. And once again, here's Ernie Johnson back at Atlanta. free throws. The Dallas lead is two. And now Devin Harris has come into the ballgame for Howard Moore. So if you're the Spurs, you double team Nowitzki, you make How you make Harris beat you. Don't let Terry or Stackhouse get an open look. However, Terry driving to the hoop is fouled. It's, he was knocked down and that'll put Terry at the line. Foul on Ginobili. That's number five. So Two shots for Terry, who hit his previous two at the line, and he's an 80% free throw shooter during the regular season. Strong game for Terry after serving that one game suspension. Point number 24 for Terry. As, as you saw a moment ago on the graphic, Marvin, this Dallas bench has come up. I'm off. Amado Ginobili three-pointer. San Antonio did take the lead, but Dallas has come back. Three-point play by Nowitzki to tie the game at the end of regulation, and now the man's up by four points. Duncan. Jobs played it well. Duncan again, not able to hit. Boy, Sagana Job could be the unsung hero tonight for his work on Duncan late, which is ironic because Avery Johnson had gone away from Job after the last couple of games. Just under two left in overtime. Stackhouse to the fade. Yes, Jerry Stackhouse with another big bucket. And it's been a bounce back game for Stackhouse, who have been quiet the previous two. Mavericks now lead by six, Parker, nowhere to go, lost it, able to recover, Duncan, strong move on Duncan, 114-110, Dallas, still plenty of time if you're San Antonio, no need to foul, a minute and a half, but they must make stops, they've got Bowen on Nowitzki, 41 points for Duncan, foul called on Bowen, Shooting foul. Uh, Marv Duncan recognizes the double is not coming, so go right at the rim and take it at job. That's what you have to do against a shot blocker. You can't go away from a guy with a reach like that. You gotta get your body on him, go right into him, and Duncan gets a shot over job. Five on the 24. Terry with another rainbow. Rebound Finley. This may be the possession of the series for San Antonio. Down by four. Less than a minute to go. 
And a third throw. Knocked out of bounds by Chuck. Question now if you're Dallas, do you, do you double on Duncan? Do you come? Do you help Jop? You're up four, so you, know, you, you might want to just stay with the single coverage. Make sure you don't give up an open three. Spurs with 13 on the 24. Duncan came up short. The tip missed. Rebound to Vitsky, and Duncan comes up hobbling. Sagana Jop. Remember that name, Marv, the unsung hero. He has made, made life very difficult on Duncan here in the overtime. Now Dallas in no hurry on this session. One on the clock. Now a three on the 24. Terry from deep. That was a three-point attempt. Rebounded by Jock. Slapped away by Mullen. And foul. With 22 seconds to go in overtime. Foul on Bowen, that is number five, and jump to the line. A 54% free throw shooter during the regular season. Well, look at that reach. Jop just getting his hand above Duncan's, and now he will go to the line for a couple of enormous free throws. Tim Duncan. Overtime has had his difficulties, only one for his last six. Although Duncan, with 41 points, has established a new playoff career high. And Ori comes back into the ball game for rebounding purposes. San Antonio will call a timeout either way here. Well, Jump hits one of two, extends the Maverick lead to five. 22.7 remaining. San Antonio, they've got to either go to Ginobili on the quick penetration or right into Duncan. Corey looking to inbound and Dick Pavetta with the call and a foul on Dallas. And I believe that's going to be one free throw and the ball back, Mark, because the foul was committed before the ball was put into play. It was Kevin Harris. That's exactly what the call is. Finley to the line. Now that's a potential big turnaround play. Finley hits this uh, free throw. It cuts it down to four plus possession. Well, watch Harris here as he jumps out to switch and gets in the way of Finley. And where that may come into play, Marv, is at the other end. You put Dallas on the line. That puts a lot more pressure on them to make both free throws rather than just one. Possession game. Finley will inbound. Ori. Played by Nowitzki. Finley for three. He was under pressure. He had to force it. And the foul is given. With 15.9 remaining. Foul on Ori. Dallas to the line. Well, that was terrific defense. Greg Popovich draws up a nice play, a little veer pick on Stackhouse, but he reads it, gets back to Finley, challenges the shot, forces that wild attempt. And how about the irony, Marv, if you're Michael Finley, after all those years in a Maverick uniform, you're unable to get past the Spurs, they let you go, you sign with the world champs, and now here you are on the verge of getting knocked out by the team that you gave your heart and soul to for so many years. Terry, four, four, the line, 80% free throw shooter. 26 points for Terry. Dallas, 5-5. San Antonio does have a 20-second timeout left. And Adrian Griffin, who has rarely been seen in this series has come on now for Sagana Jop, who is certainly a major part of the story in overtime. Griffin is in for three-point defense. Dallas wants to switch everything. That's why they take Jop out, but the Spurs will call a timeout. Six years. Down to 15 seconds left in overtime. Duncan takes a three. Ginobili not able to handle it, and that will wrap it. 11 seconds to go. And this, an impressive win.
for the Mavericks here in San Antonio. The foul is given. Nowitzki will go to the line with 9.9 remaining. And how about Dallas winning twice here in San Antonio? They will take the series in seven and head to the Western Conference Final to face either the Suns or the Clippers. Mavericks making it to the Conference Final for only the third time in the history of the franchise. They have never been to the NBA Finals. Well, either way, they've got a difficult matchup. The Suns split the series with them. Clippers have played them well, but What's most impressive, Marv, is the manner in which they won this game after giving up that huge lead. Spurs end up taking a three-point lead late. Looks like they're going to close out the series. Dallas battles back and validation from Dirk Nowitzki.